Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Riverbank Art Centre. Uh, my name is Marta Golubowska and I'm a visual artist living here in County Kildare. Uh, I mostly work with clay, but today I'm going to share my vision and passion of art with you by making a Guatemalan kite the, for Halloween. This is the way people in Guatemala celebrate the Day of Death. They uh, send the kites to the air, believing that it sends the souls of their deceased to the to the sky, to the heaven, to heaven. Um, for that, we'll need um, scraps of tissue paper, uh, multicolored. If you have, if you don't, you can use one color. We're gonna use lollipop sticks. Um, we will use a salad tape and a string, scissors, and I think that's all. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, making some decisions first. So we're going to decide what shape our kite will have. I will go for a diamond shape, like that. Okay, so now I want to secure all my lolly, uh, uh, lollipop sticks together and I'll do it with the salad tape. This is the cleanest and quickest way of doing it. So I'm going to put secure the joints with one bit of salad tape on one side first. Then I'm going to go on the other side. Just make sure that you keep them together at all times. It could prove tricky at the start, but if you have your brother or sister around, just tell them to put their finger on the side that you're not sticking the salad tape at the moment. Okay, now we're gonna turn it around and do the same on the other side. And now we're, we just have to wrap this shape up with the tissue paper. So I want my kite to be multicolored. So I'm going to use a little piece here. Then I'm going to take some other part of the tissue paper and stick it beside it. Maybe an orange. Okay. What we're going to do now, we're going to secure the structure with cellar tape in the middle so it catches all the pieces of tissue and we're going to stick it to the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to secure the sides of the kite with cellar tape. So you need slightly longer bits of cellar tape, so be careful not to get all wind up with cellar tape around. I have four pieces of cellar tape for four sides of my kite. So if you have more sides, like if you're worked of octagon or hectagon, you might have more sides. Then you'll need more pieces of
Okay, and the last one. Here we go, that's the body of our kite. Now we're going to attach a little string that goes down and maybe decorate it with a bit of uh, ribbon or bows. Bows. So I cut, I doubled up the string here. I'm just going to stick it on the wrong side of the thing. Of the tape. And now we're going to make a little bit of a bow. So I'm cutting my tissue paper in a squarish rectangular based shape and just scrunch them up in the middle. The more irregular they are, the funnier looking they will be. So don't worry if they're not perfect. We are not aiming for perfections. And then you just wrap your string around it and make a knot. Again, this will be multicolored, so I'm using different colors of tissue paper. And the last one. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and all the videos in this series. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Marta Golubowska. Uh, be sure to tune in to Riverbank for more events like this one. I would love to stay here with you and keep making arts together, but I have to go and get my costume sorted. Bye!